this, this thing about walkers is the term gateway. And we almost said it at the same time. And he says, boy, you're gonna, we're gonna reopen the gateway to the Bahamas. The core of this island has always been, you know, even back in the 30s, it was, it was a fishing mecca. And even today, I mean, you can go through the world record books and there's still a whole bunch of records that are held out here because it was like the go-to place um, in the 50s, 60s, even into the 70s. Um, they had great tournaments all the way up till, uh, you know, really about the storm. And, and uh, you know, it's, if, it, if anything's driving me the most, it's, it's that. And to have what's coming up in a few days, my stomach's all in freaking knots and um, I'm so nervous about this, but I think I've got this incredible team behind me and we are gonna pull this off. I haven't been coming to this island since I was 12 years old. It didn't take me long to realize the rich history it has here. When I bought this island in 2018, I fulfilled a lifelong dream. The goal is not only to preserve the memories I made over those years, but to make new ones and to give others the opportunity to do the same. As we go through this process, it has become clear to me, we aren't just rebuilding an island, we're reviving a legend. Good luck to everybody in the Walker Tea Tournament. This is uh, Billy on the Duchess. I want to wish you all good luck. And I want to make sure everybody's safe out here. And catch them all. First day of the tournament. Been doing it for 55 years professionally as a charter boat captain. That's what I've done all my life. That's the only thing I know. Be safe. Let us catch a lot of fish. We would love to catch the big one if we can. What a crew we have. Amen. Walkers, walkers key again. Are you feeling it? Hey, are you feeling it? We're gonna go and baptize each one of these reels right now with a walker's key beer and bring it down blue. I love you. Yeah, he thinks like I do, you know that? Walker's key beer, this is how we raise the fish. We're gonna, we're gonna do a, a little baptizing of the reels. Fish on, fish on. Get ready, get ready. Come back up, mama. That was a big fish. You got him, there he is. Oh, you hooked up. Get that TV. All right, let's get him. Get him there, boy. It's a big fish. Get the lines in. Come on, I need to go back. Somebody relay for Duchess. We did just released one about 300. Right on my spot. Hey, but...
day two. That's where we're on on the board right now, and this is gonna be the day we, we hang one. So we're here with the legendary Billy Black, and we're feeling good about it. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines in the water. Look at that. I know you are. I'm right on my spot. Look at that, man. Coming back. Touch. That's a release. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this bunch of birds ahead of us. Woohoo! Get ready, guys. Yellow fin tuna, right rigger on big dog. What do we got? Taking line. Taking line, JB. Take line, take line. All right, get them teasers in. Get the teasers in. Might be a big wahoo, too. Duchess is hooked up. That's a big wahoo. That's what I called it. Didn't I tell you that? Yep, I heard it. Come on. Watch your feet. Wow, look at the size of that. That one's about 80 pounds. Yep, we can feed the old island tonight. We got about an 80 pound wahoo. That's a good one. Flag flies right side up today. We got a big girl in the boat. Man, it was absolutely sensational. You know, this has uh, been everything that you could ask for and more, especially with Billy and the Duchess. As to be a part of this team has just been awesome. Uh, Billy Black's a legend, the boat's a legend, the island's a legend. It's uh, an honor to be here and fish with all of them. I don't think there's a fisherman here or a boat owner that wouldn't love to come back. It's going to be a fun place to fish for years to come. Steve Duchess, the legend. Pretty cool. This is what it's all about right here. First fish on this gantry in over 20 years, I think. And uh, Mr. and Mrs. Allen very happy, the Allen family. Everybody, the team that's been working on this, pretty excited. This is what it's all about. So Walker's key, reborn. Said I, I was hoping to get a, you know, three or 400 pound fish in here. And here we go right off the bat, right over 500, 508. So, God, this is a dream right here, buddy. <laughs> It got everybody fired up that Walker's is back, and, and uh, the way that they're handling is, is uh, and it brought it back and resurrected, it's amazing. It's just, gets everybody that's fishing excited about having them, those folks, the way they're putting this thing together. We will we'll, we will be back. After the guys get a couple of pieces off it, we're gonna cut it up, take it back, me and the guys on the island, we're gonna, whoever wants piece, we're gonna share it out, so. You know, it's not gonna go to waste. You know? And this would be being looking for for a long time to see Walker's rebound. We're gonna be feeding Grand Key. We're taking some for ourselves, the Duchess and the Gigi to eat. It's not every day you get blue Merlin, but it's you know we respect the fish. We, we respect the ocean. So very very few uh, Marlin die in this tournament. We just we're gonna have probably a couple, maybe one more tomorrow. A whole bunch more released, but. This fish is going to go to good use from a lot of people over there that need it. They, they've had, uh, been devastated by this pandemic, and, and uh, this will go to good use, right, Brooke? Yes, sir. Thanks a lot.
what, I'm your entertainment this evening. Uh, but before I get into that, um, I had a little moment there at the dock with the Z Billy and Alan there. I, I, I don't think you could write a better script than to see the two of you hanging on that fish and thank God, Billy, that you want, sir. I think all I want is a 500 plus hanging on that entry and it was 508. So, way to go, guys. Way to go. All of us here, you know, you guys have a special place in my heart. You're always welcome here. I said that I used to have all these one-liners, these sayings, you know, and one of the things he used to say, Carl, if you want to be successful in life, you really got to surround yourself with people a lot smarter than you. And then he would usually put me in a noogie and say, that's not going to be a big problem for you, son. <laughs> but I do. I've got an amazing group of people around me. I think when you see us operating, out of the site, it is really something to see, and I challenged them to pull this weekend off, and they really did it. So, thank you so much, guys. Okay. Just a show of hands, what do you think about the same time next year? Ladies and gentlemen, Carl Allen, thank you very much. My wife and I have met some amazing, amazing people because of this island already, and we're not even open. <laughs> I mean, so it's, uh, it, it really amazes me, the interest, uh, even from celebrities. I mean, uh, I know Roger Daltrey's interested in this, Billy Joel, um, you know, we had, we've had interest from uh, basketball players, uh, you know, Shaquille O'Neal and uh, Michael Jordan was coming out for the tournament at one point. Uh, just, you know, a place that is legendary. We, we didn't buy an island, we, we bought a legend. I mean, there's just nothing like Walker's Cave. 80% of the population of this country is in two places, and that's Freeport and Nassau, which means that there is 698 islands out there that only have about 60,000 people. So places like Conception and Rum Key and, and Long Island, Crooked Key, and Anagua and, and Hogs Tea Reef and, and Georgetown, I, I could go on and on and on. And um, my family now runs the gateway to the Bahamas. That means a tremendous amount to me. The Allens are, you know, people you want your parents to be, you know, people who are great people who are caring, giving, and actually care about their crews. They know everybody's name, they know all the parent, everybody's parents' names, and they're just great people and have gave me a dream job out here at Walker's, and I'm just some kid from Stewart who happened to know Mr. Allen, he hired me, and we've been together ever since, and you know, they're a match made in heaven, they're the easiest bosses. To work for their long hours. We do fish every single day. We do something every day. But in this line of work, you want to do that. You don't want to be sitting at the dock. And for them to give me and John a chance and opportunity of what we got to do, there's nothing better in the world. Like and subscribe for more Walker Skate content. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms, and as always, we can't wait to see you here at Walker's Cave.